What's up guys? It's your boy Killer Rap here with Hip Hop Science and today we're going to be doing Kendrick Lamar's top 10 fastest verses Kung Fu Kenny K Dot one of the greatest rappers of all times if not I think he's very well on track to being the greatest rapper of all time. I will debate that with you if you want leave a comment if you have something to disagree with. But at the very least we can agree he's the best rapper in modern hip hop and let's see if on top of being as fantastic a rapper as he is, let's see if he can add fast rap to that checklist. If you want to know how I do these calculations, make sure to click that link that's going to pop up there. But without further ado, let's jump right in to number 10. I made enough residuals to hide some. I gave enough when niggas know I divide some. I told Zay I'm the best rapper since 25. Been like that for a while now, I'm 29. Any nigga that disagrees is a fucking lie. Part of me see my alter ego with him and I him and I've been around ever since Reagan would criticize. Might stay in the Trump Tower for one week. Spray paint all the wall and smoke weed. Fuck them and fuck y'all and fuck me. Oh my god, this song is fantastic. What's wrong off of Isaiah Rasaj? Isaiah Rashad's The Sons to Raid. Just a phenomenal track overall. Both Kendrick Lamar and Isaiah Rashad had just phenomenal verses. I personally liked Isaiah Rashad's first... Why is that so hard to say? Isaiah Rashad's first verse, the best on the song, but obviously they both came with very creative, very unique, very different stuff. Kendrick Lamar's verse was off the chain as well. 8.4 syllables per second while doing so. Uh, not much more to that. You should check that song out if you haven't already. It's a great one. Um, let's go on to number 9. Uh, you like a leader when a haystack. Uh, I want to sit you where my face at. Uh, lunch with a few my ties. Uh, purple kisses on my tie. Uh, life get really for dick love. Uh, now nah, you get in this dick love. Uh, I'm looking for you with a flashlight. I want to feel with a real fat ass like no injection. I learned my lesson. I'm walking like a talker, baby. This pedestrian running through your mind like Jackie Jern. A pussy pop like. Go give me a burn. I got shot like. Give it to you off of Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines, going 8.47 syllables per second. Not actually the greatest verse ever, I, but it was fast enough for this list. Um, I'm not a big fan, but then again, it's not really the biggest hip-hop verse. It's more of like a pop feature. Uh, you know how it goes. Not much more to that. Let's go on to number 8. You're lightweight, they tell me you're nice and I'm lightweight Go get me a knife, you're looking like steak And when the stakes are high, I steak out for days And when the water is high, you're probably full shape But we ain't thirsty, nigga, never alert me, nigga I got a P89 in a suitcase I know you heard me, nigga, this is a burpee, nigga Lyrical exercise, right now, homie, I'm in the extra vibe Pipe down on the curve when you heard that I got these words To the upper echelon, that's echelon The song, one of the best songs Absolutely the best songs off of the album, in my opinion. The original, even. And then this is the remix with Jay-Z. And Jay-Z also had a great verse on a Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. Such a great song. Um, there's, it's just, it's so layered. There's so many meanings to it. It's just... Anyway, I'm rambling a bit, but you guys should definitely check that out. He even goes pretty fast on the remix, 8.93. But the whole album, Good Kid, Mad City. Fantastic. Anyway, number seven. Little nigga made with a size, ride like Pac in his prime, thug like this now on radar. Till the federal come through a radars, reminiscing when the LA radars was in my home. Snap back fitted on my uncle's dome, and I don't cut dome. Dick riding, I'm addicted to West Side. Living in a city where the skinny niggas die in a semi bullet fly, but it turned me to a lion. Trying, 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 trying. Oh my god, this verse, it came out of nowhere. Like, I, it, it was kind of, this song, it was, it's kind of old. It, it was one of the first, like, big Kendrick features, and it, Started off with just Kenyon being featured on the hooks, right? He had the hooks, and he went pretty fast on the hooks too. But but not necessarily talking about speed right now. But the whole even the hook was better than all of the game's verses. Not that they were bad, but Kendrick is just that good. And then at the end there, he had this acapella bit, and it was just out of this world. <sighs> the city from the game. You guys should check that out for sure. Fantastic song. Some some classics on this list, man. Anyway, number six. Bowling throw me with the shark. That's the feeling I get when you're concentrating on this pin, on this pad. Tell me you willing to disown my craft. Tell me the feeling of picking apart this track. Stop. Putting my heart and my soul in these lines. Telling me plan them and go all the time. Looking to bury a deep hole for my drop. This is more than you. When this, anyway, okay. This track actually is out of this world. It's. Kendrick's verse specifically. I mean, the whole track actually is fairly great. Uh, Tech Nine had one of his like most like passionate emotional verses on this too, but Kendrick just he, he you could feel the 
intensity building the whole time. He had his bursts of anger, and then he kind of comes down to kind of deal with it. And then that ending bit where it's harmonized and it's just constantly crescendoing. Oh my god, you guys have to... Kendrick Lamar is just so damn good. Why? How does he do this? Why is everything he touches fire? Uh, 9.75 syllables per second there, by the way. Let's get on with it. Number five. I mean I'm floating, I got the salt, got the potion I got them all like a potions and emotions I put a rear in the Goshen's and put the body in the ocean I made an oath win, my nigga told me to go in Then he died on the cold bench All my old friends living life on a slow end Gotta keep shit rolling, this dip <laughs> I don't really know why I decided to end it there but <laughs> Anyway, the whole verse is quite good um, Not my favorite Kendrick verse actually I felt like the flow and the whole execution was a little odd compared to the original Future track. Not that that's bad, it's just I felt Future just did a good enough job on the original track to set the vibe that all these, all these like speedy remixes, Joyner Lucas, Kendrick Lamar, Joey Badass's freestyle, they were all felt like kind of cacophonous with respect to the original style, so that's just my take on it. But a fantastic verse uh, uh, overall, going 10 syllables per second in that part too. So, it's on the list. Let's get on with it. Number four. Eyes in the sea, recognize who I be. Okay, that motherfucker, that motherfucker, hot motherfucker, drop top when you back with the black on side. Motherfucker, side motherfucker, ride motherfucker, die motherfucker. When I go pop, pop, open up, close shop, like a retail spot. Everybody know I be with a money lie, eat with a money lie, shit with a money lie, sleep with a money lie, bitch, that's no lie. <laughs> Uh, does everyone remember good old Millie, <laughs> the biggest track in the world? Every single person in existence remixed it. Like, I remixed it. No, I didn't actually. I'm just kidding. I've, I wasn't a rapper back then. I'm not really now either, but you get the point. <sighs> in any case, this was a very old track off of the C4 mixtape by when, or around when Kendrick went by K. Oh, uh, man, it wasn't even... I, you had to really dig to kind of listen to any of this and find it but a milli classic not much more to it let's get on to number three everybody wanna be tough guy so he did approach this guy like where are you from where his drop but then shoot it you number one never pull out if you don't use it even though they do they bang up every next day he's seen them all y'all know way blows brains out while homeboy was cruising damn this song is intense i mean this is again off of the c4 mixtape um, G code going 10.2 syllables per second, but more so than the speed, this song is actually more of a a very like detailed and and meaningful depiction of I guess what Kendrick believes to be the G code. It tells kind of like a story. It's very interesting actually. Um, shows that he had this like very good writing ability, just a fantastic lyrical skill way back even before he po started popping off in the mainstream. So that's really cool to see. Um, but yeah, on to number two. This dick ain't free. You looking at me like it ain't a receipt, like I never made ends meet, eating your leftovers and raw meat. This dick ain't free. Living in captivity, raised my cap salary, celery, telling me green is all I need. Evidently, all I seen was spam and raw sardines. The song is just the greatest. I think, without a doubt, at least from all the songs that I've heard, maybe there's something out there, but I think this is definitely Kendrick's most technical verse that he's ever written when it comes to. Uh, a, a delivery perspective when it comes to a flow perspective when it comes to rhyme scheme perspective everything about this track is just out of this world there's something he actually does here he hits 11.47 syllables per second and i put 172 as the tempo here but if you listen to the moving bass line underneath it's actually moving on the threes or rather it's going at 4-4 four, four at 129 beats per minute but kendrick is rapping on the threes at 172 beats per minute and it is it's just or maybe it's one and four but you get the point every three beats apart but it's just do you just do you do you hear this do you hear how complicated it is to just explain how his speed and the flow then then there's there's that ending bit with the rhyme scheme and the delivery and the lyrics it's just out of this world i think it's definitely his most technical verse and you can feel free to challenge me on that if you think there's anything out there but yeah, let's see what's number one then. See really ballistic, anybody can see any assistance, everybody to see some persistence, recognize I'll be really too vicious, the permanent beast and the demolition, bringing up the street, better partition, better dot your tea, Hannibal mention, how to fall you see, putting my dick in the rap industry, everybody bitching, getting mad at me, recognize Kendrick in a battery, and I'm charged up in a catastrophe, it's charged up in hard density, and y'all fucks never gonna hassle me, and y'all luck just ran out, you'll see. He dead. He dead. I, this is the first song that I heard from Kendrick Lamar way back in the day. 
Um, I think this was probably the first song for a lot of people that were coming around. Um, this is, to nobody's surprise, if you're a fan of Kendrick Lamar, his fastest verse of all time. 11.87 syllables per second. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think he's ever going to beat this. I don't think he plans on going any faster than this because this is like, this is way back in the day, right? And it's just, he was more about technicality and execution at the time. Not that he isn't anymore, but it was, it's just, I think he, he did more of the fast stuff back then, right? You you could tell by all the G-code stuff, you could, or... The um, C4 stuff, you could tell by this song, some of the tr other tracks on Section 80. He was originally actually found by Tech 9 um, He met Dr. Dre on a Tech 9 concert tour sort of thing. So you can tell like he, ha he was in that sphere, but obviously he's transcended all of that now. He's one of the greatest of all time. So not much more to that. There goes Rigor Mortis. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you thought. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's going to hopefully pop up right there, depending on how long I keep rambling for, because it's only for the last 20 seconds. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Killer App signing out. Peace. <laughs> Did I just do that? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, peace out.